Welcome to the GC Flex Classroom. In this video, we will review the important steps to facilitating a successful GC Flex class. Whether you're new to Georgian or need a quick refresher, we hope you find this video helpful. The first step in preparing for your GC Flex class is to set up a recurring meeting in MS Teams. Georgian College will create a team in MS Teams for each one of your courses. Before your first day of class, you can set up your class meetings by following these steps. First, open MS Teams. Next, find your course by navigating to the Teams section of MS Teams. Georgian College will add your course team to your available list of teams in advance of your first class. All the students that are registered for this course will automatically be added to this team. The next step is to open the course. You will notice that you will land on the general channel of this team. On the top right hand side, you will find the Meet button. Select the drop down arrow and choose to schedule a meeting. Fill out the details of your meeting, such as title, start date, and class times. Set the recurrence to weekly, then choose to repeat every one week. Finally, select the end date as the last day of your course and choose Save. Add any other details you wish to add. Note that you do not need to add attendees. When you are ready to share the meeting with your students, select the Send button in the top right-hand corner. The meeting will be posted in the general channel of that team. Everyone that is registered for your course will have access to the meeting link. If you would like to post the meeting link in Blackboard as well, follow these steps. In the general channel, select the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Get Link to Channel and copy the link. You can now paste that link in a convenient spot in your Blackboard shell, either as an item or as a web link. When your students click that link, they will be brought to the general channel of the MS team. Direct your students to click on the purple bar to join the meeting. Once your meeting is set up, you will be ready to facilitate a GC Flex class. In this part of the video, we will show you how to start the technology in a GC Flex room. At the podium, you will find a desktop computer and a Crestron touch panel. The first step is to turn on the projector and room camera. On the touch panel, choose the Press to Turn on Display button. Once the display has finished warming up, the same button will now say Display is on. The next step is to log in to the Podium computer. Enter your Georgian username and password to load your account onto the Podium computer. Type admin backslash first initial last name and then your password. Or, you can type your first name dot last name at georgiancollege.ca and then your password. The third step is to launch Microsoft Teams. Your Microsoft Teams calendar should open automatically. Find your scheduled course meeting and click Join. The device settings should default to Room Devices. Click Join now and your meeting will begin. Finally, you can adjust the camera controls. You can control the camera by selecting the Show Camera Controls button on the Crestron panel. The camera will not follow you, but you can zoom the camera in and out and move it left, right, up, and down. You can use Preset 1 or Preset 2 to reset the camera. Now you're ready to share content with your in-person and online synchronous students. In this part of the video, we will show you how to share content and control the images shown on the projection screen and online. Remember to check what your students are seeing as you facilitate your course. Open the content that you want to share with your students. This could be content from Blackboard, OneDrive, or a USB. Once you find the content you wish to share, open it, then get back into MS Teams. Next, select the Share icon at the top right-hand side of your Teams meeting and choose to share the screen. 
Look for the red outline around your content to know that you are sharing it. In the classroom, the content that is shown on the projection screen will automatically be the same content that is shown on the podium computer. This is called a duplicated display. When you are ready to stop sharing content with your face-to-face -face and online synchronous students, scroll to the top of the screen with the red outline and hover your mouse until you see the Stop Presenting button appear. Click Stop Presenting to stop sharing all content. Another way to share content is to show different material on the projector screen than what is shown on the podium computer. Here, you will need to extend your display. To do this, right-click on your desktop, select Display Settings, scroll to Multiple Displays, and choose Extend Display. Then, open the content that you want to share with your students. Now, you can drag the content from your podium screen to your projector screen, allowing you to share a presentation on the large screen while seeing different content, such as your team's chat, on the computer. To share content with your online synchronous students, click on the Teams window on Taskbar, select Share Content, select Screen 2. This will be the extended projector screen. This will allow your face-to-face -face and online synchronous students to see your shared material at the same time, while you do something different on the podium computer, like monitor the chat. To share your content asynchronously with your students, such as a recorded lecture, select the three dots at the top of your Teams window and click on the Record button. When you are finished and ready to stop your recording, select the three dots again and click Stop Recording. Your recording will be sent to the general channel where it will be accessible to all students in your class. In this part of the video, we will review some important audio tips and tricks. Microsoft Teams will automatically select the room audio for the meeting. When sharing content that has audio, like a podcast or a video, be sure to click on Include Computer Sound before you play the content. If you're having trouble hearing your online synchronous students, you can control the speaker volume from the slider on the touch panel. If you need to reset the volume to the default, choose Volume Reset on the Crestron panel. The classroom speakers and microphones are set throughout the room. They are flush with the ceiling tiles, but can be distinguished by the blue lights. The microphones will pick up sound from anywhere in the room. To prevent audio feedback, in-class students that join your Teams meeting with their computers must mute their computers in two places, their microphone, and on their computer speaker, which is found in the bottom right corner of the computer, or in the system preferences. In-class students may also connect earphones instead of muting their computer volume. In the last part of this video, we will review best practices for using a personal device during your GC Flex class. Some instructors may find it helpful to have the Teams chat open on a laptop while their class content is shown on the podium computer and projector screen. You can also share specific content from your laptop that cannot be accessed via the podium computer. For either option, follow these steps. Start by making sure you have joined the Teams meeting on the podium computer. Then, Log in to your personal or faculty laptop. Open MS Teams, go to your calendar and click Join. Click on Add Device to join as a second version of yourself. Mute your Teams audio microphone and mute your speakers on your laptop computer to avoid in-class audio feedback. You now have the ability to manage chat while sharing content. 
You can also share material such as a PowerPoint, Blackboard, or specific software that is only on your laptop directly from your personal device for both face-to-face -face and online synchronous students to see. We hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. The DC Flex team in the Centre for Teaching and Learning is here to help and we are always happy to hear from you.